So you've got your Brightspace course shell and now you want to get an assignment or an activity to students. So let's say this is my activity. I'll leave a link in the description to where I found this template so you can get the same one if you like, but let's pretend I've actually filled it out and it's ready for my students. I'm gonna click on the share button and I'm going to change this so anyone with the link can view and copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to Brightspace and I'm going to go to my Dropbox and I love how it says create or click new assignment to start, but there is no such thing as a new assignment button anywhere. What they really mean, I guess, is to click new folder. So give it a name, whatever it is. And here in the instructions, so you would type whatever your instructions were. Um, and you could be more detailed than that, but for the sake of time, I'll just keep it short. And then I'm going to highlight some of the text that I want the students to click on. Click on insert quick link. And I'm going to be inserting a URL. And I'm gonna paste what I already copied from my Google Doc. And then a little trick so that students get their own copy to work on is to just delete right up until this slash where it used to say edit and you're going to change that to the word copy and insert. Now if you work for a board that doesn't let you use Google Docs you could come here download it as a Microsoft Word because chances are that's what you're using if you're not using Google Docs and then what you'd have to do is instead of making a link, you would insert stuff, my computer, choose the file from your downloads, upload that file, insert it, and so when students click on this, it would download that document to their computer. You could also add it as an attachment right here. It would do the same thing, I think. So all the other settings I'm going to leave as default. You can add categories if you're gonna be using this a lot to keep things organized. So you could have a category for that particular unit or that particular subject. If you'd like to use the evaluation and feedback or rubrics tools, you would go ahead and fill all those things out. For the sake of time, I won't bother with that for today. And then I'm just going to save and close. And so there it is. Now, a trick in Brightspace, if you want to see what things look like as a student, you can click on your name and click on View as Student. So as a student, you would direct them to go to the Dropbox, they would click on this and they would have the instructions right here. So if they clicked on the Google Docs version, it will prompt them to make a copy. Or again, if they clicked right here, they would get that Word doc downloaded. When they were done working on it, if they had worked on a downloaded version of it, they would add the file after they've saved it or if they were using the Google Docs version, they could click share and get the link and paste it right in here as well. It might force them to add a file in order to be able to submit. So they could add just a random picture or a random blank document or something uh, right there instead. And then they would submit it. Yeah, it's gonna make them add a file. So you could teach them just to work around that.